Hi, my name is Andy Sawyer. I'm the safety coordinator for the Krasl Art Crowd and Bluff. And I want to run through a few safety procedures for you, some emergency procedures. And our hope is that uh, we'll provide a, a great safe environment for all our patrons, our artists, and our guests. Uh, all volunteers should receive a form similar to this, and this is kind of an overview of what to do for a variety of different emergency procedures. And I'm just going to go through this real quickly. Um, and the first type of thing we want to talk about is a true emergency. This is the kind of thing that if it happened to you at home or out in public, you would call 911 for things like if you see somebody pass out, if you witness a fight or some kind of disturbance, something like that. Um, if you see uh, an abduction, if you actually see somebody abducted, First thing we want you to do is call 911, and then um, our system will be actually activated as part of that. But secondarily, after you call 911, we want you to call the Krasl Art Center, and that phone number is on this uh, sheet. It's 269-983-0271, and then that will secondarily activate our internal emergency system. Now, the other type of uh, situation you might encounter is what we call a non-emergency situation. And a non-emergency situation is something like uh, a lost child, um, perhaps uh, some kind of safety concern, uh, like a small like a sprained ankle, small laceration, something like that. Something you, that you typically wouldn't call 911 for. First thing we want you to do is we want you to call the front desk at Krasl. And again, that will activate our emergency system. Now, in both of these cases, it's really important that you give us good information about where you are and the best type of information that, we can, that you can give us to help get people to where you are is to give us a booth number. And the booth number should be clearly marked and clearly located. Um, if you're in the food court, just let us know you're in the food court. Um, all the emergency responders have maps that show us where all the booths are. Uh, and then, kind of the, uh, the way I put this is if you're not sure which way to go, is this an emergency, non emergency, err on the side of an emergency, call 911. It won't hurt to call 911, um, and if in doubt, go that way. Now, the one that's a little, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense initially is an unattended package. Unattended package we treat as a non-emergency, so don't call 911 for that, activate our system. Um, I will actually be carrying a police radio, I'll call the police, we'll respond and deal with that appropriately. Uh, and then the third kind of category of things that you might encounter are what we call operational issues. Operational issues are things like uh, bugs walking through a tent, um, sprinklers going off in the middle of a tent, uh, things of that nature, maybe a limb that's too low. Um, for that, we want you to just call the front desk at the Krasl and we'll send out the operations team to deal with that. Now, we do need to talk about weather-related emergencies. Um, in the event of a weather-related emergency, we're going to try to give you at least 10 to 15 minutes heads up. Um, we will be making announcements all up and down the bluff. Uh, we'll have police and fire here to help and assist. Uh, the, the announcement will be very simple, just there's inclement weather approaching. We want everybody to take shelter immediately. Now, very important here, we don't direct people to specific buildings. Our message is please take shelter immediately in a building or a vehicle. Don't direct them to a specific building. Um, the reason is that if they go into that building, then they slip and fall, we absorb some of the liability for that. So it's really specific, really important that we're just take shelter in a building, um, but not a specific building. And then the final thing I want to talk about here is golf carts. And you're going to see golf carts um, during the hours of the art fair. The only golf cart that will be on the bluff on Lake Boulevard will be our emergency golf cart. And then the police will also have a small vehicle that they're using. All other golf carts need to be in the alleys. Look for a wristband. If you see a driver in a golf cart without one of these wristbands, green wristband, Please report that immediately. It's not emergency. Don't call 911 for that, but do call the front desk. It means that they've not been properly trained. Vice versa, if you have not been properly trained and you don't have a wristband, please don't drive a golf cart. This is very, very important. Um, golf carts can be quite dangerous if they're not used carefully. So let's all have a safe art fair, and we'll see you at the art fair.